Yep. Go for it. Wow. Hi. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, really nice. pretty. My name is Greta Dargi and I'm a postdoctoral researcher and we're here to study the peatlands. Compared to other soils, peat is really carbon dense. It's made up of partially decomposed plant material. All the carbon that the plant accumulates in its life doesn't fully break down, so that carbon stays in the ground. And if you were to disturb that ecosystem, then that carbon will very likely be released into the atmosphere and that will contribute to rising greenhouse gas levels and climate change. Peatlands only cover around 3% of the Earth's land surface, but they account for more than a third of the carbon stock. We now think that what we have here in the Congo is the largest tropical peatland complex in the world. This morning, we're going to head off into the forest. We're hoping we'll actually reach the start of the peatlands. Okay. Previously, we've produced our first estimate of how much carbon these peatlands store. Now we're on to a kind of second phase where we're trying to improve our map of the peatlands. I think we'll stay dry today. Let's see if I can make it. Oh, I think there's almost no hope. Ah, oh, it's happened, it's too late. <laughs> More. Hi, Ooh. nice. We know this is peat because it's organic brown material that's stuck to the stick. If it was not peat, it would be like a grey colour. We're going to bag it up and that gets taken back to the lab to work out the density and carbon concentration. I'm really relieved, wasn't actually sure if we would find peat underneath this. Around the world, peatlands are undergoing quite high levels of degradation and destruction for the sake of oil palm plantations, rice projects. My fear is that something that is financially more lucrative then protecting the peatlands will mean that these peatlands will be sacrificed for that. My hope though is that the data we produce will give the people the information they need to make better informed decisions about how to manage these ecosystems. 